But, I, but what I think is fantastic about what happened is, is, is look around us. You know, I mean, I, as I came in the studio tonight, there's, there's news, news broadcasters out there, there's police. This is, this is like the Super Bowl of interfaith relations. And for those of us who, who have participated in this conversation that came out of 9-11, this is truly advancing the ball. Because what we're doing is we're getting the conversation out. I'm sorry, uh, the I'm, Super Bowl? This is not the Super Bowl. Yeah. This is pain. And let me tell you, Imam Rao said he, he reached out to family members before this mosque was going to be built. There was no contact with family members. And if he said there was, I'd like to see a list. That's a lie. And I would also like to say my mom and I were so hoping that Imam Rao would bring peace to the 9-11 families before this anniversary. I was so sure when he would come back from the Middle Eastern trip that he would come back and he would give us a gift of peace and say, I wanted this to bring peace, but I see that it's not, and I, 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 I never meant to do this, and, and, and to maybe look for another location. Rosalie, let me, let me jump in here. I'm looking at this beautiful picture here, and yes. the, the peace that you were talking about, what those of us who are working very hard, including uh, Faisal Abdul Rauf, to accomplish is to create a situation where there is not open conflict but among the religions. But why at Ground Zero? Yeah. Why does this have to be? Why not bring it over to the Middle East? I think that would be a great location for the Cordoba Initiative. They're the people that attacked us at Ground Zero over in the Middle East. And why don't they learn to be tolerant? Well, I think that's a fantastic location. The Middle East would be a wonderful place. New York's very tolerant already. New York has synagogues, mosques. Right and Catholic churches all coinciding neighborly in peace. This is the first real disturbance in and, New York since 9-11, and that's really sad to me. I'm so proud voice. of New York. This is the voice that we are trying to get out, which is to say that but what this city- But why at Ground Zero? Let me, why let me, at Ground let me, Zero? Let me, just, let me just try to try to answer what I think a lot of us but are fighting for. But you're not answering. Why at Ground Zero? What, what the, the conversation that we're having is that what New York is about and what this country okay. is about and what, and, and and, and it is about a situation where we have to say there is another voice in this country that is not the extremist. That if the extremist That's, who flew those planes into those I, I, buildings it's that are, are voice responding that I have, to Ron I burning. harbor no right. ill will towards the wonderful Muslim people mm -hmm. that, that had no part of 9-11. But I am just saying, why at Ground Zero? We have mosques all over New York, oh, and I'm so proud of that.